48 SCVs to only 42 drones, so he did force a lot of units with that uh, early pressure, and this is really not where the Zerg player wants to be. Two bases on two ba against two bases, uh, the Zerg usually wants to be one base ahead on the Terran player. Now these Mutas will be harassing here, no turrets yet for TLO, that first one almost complete, barely barely manages to pick off that SCV while it was building it and only a few SCV kills here by machine but still the Mutalist harass is very effective at keeping the Terran, Terran in his base so that you can easily expand behind this, easily and safely expand behind this. A nice creep spread by Machine at this point. He does have one queen specialized in pooping creep. Now one siege tank making his way in the middle of the map. He will most likely lose this, of course. There is no way that uh, TLO will do anything with this tank. A little bit of a blunder here. Uh, not very TLO-esque. Uh, he doesn't really... He doesn't usually <laughs> show some uh, little mistakes like that. Now this uh, command center landing here will start getting abused by these mutas, but Machine knows that a lot of marines are coming and wisely turns around. He will continue and try to harass this, but will be thwarted away by this little group of marines. Now taking a fourth base behind this muleless harass, again very safe because drops uh, are completely negated obviously by mutas very easy to intercept drops especially on this map since there are only basically two ways of dropping um, on the top and the bottom there is no real secondary attack path just this really huge main corridor here so we actually see an infestation pit going up for machine he is upgrading his melee attack level 1 and TLO just producing a very standard uh, marine tank army here with medevac. He will mo try and drop probably uh, at some point in the game but not opting to drop yet. He will be moving out behind these shrubs of course uh, with Stim he will be able to do some damage. Not many banelings from EG Machine yet but there we go he is producing 7 more and if he's not careful, TLO will be intercepted here because there is a lot of creep. He is scanning to take out some creep tumors. There we go, he is levering two, one tank and a few marines on that high ground. We'll lose this tank from the Mutalist. Nice catch by Machine here. Uh, killing off these few marines in that tank. Uh, great reflexes because if TLO can actually get his position up here, it is very hard to drop, especially if there are marines too help there. Now Machine throwing forward all his Banelings and his Mer and his Lynx be able to take out most of TLO's army. I believe these Mutas will be able to clean the rest of this up. Not ma many Marines and very injured Marines here. Uh, TLO actually keeps his position for now. Machine is still turning out Lynx, 24 Lynx just popped out and a few Banelings on the map. But it's really these Mulisk is are the real threat here. Now mining gas, only mining gas at his fourth base. He re really needs that gas to get that Mutalist number up. When that Mutalist number is at one a critical point uh, that is about 20 Mutas, he is approaching that. They can actually one-shot turrets and do huge damage in the main base of the Terran. Now, nice little spread here by uh, TLO, actually still has submarines on the high ground, now being healed up by those medevacs. EG will decide to engage here, and a uh, very nice engagement, <laughs> these banelings running after the, the marines, but they did outrun the banes, and TLO still remains and keeps this position in the middle of the map, really containing the zerg, uh, not letting him pressure anyway and getting that third base very safely behind this. Now TLO still has this little pack of uh, marines on the high ground. They are very daring here because they will be get picked off of course by these mutas as soon as he spots them. Two tanks out of position here in the middle. Again a little blunder by TLO. Three tanks is not what you want to give the zerg. Another tank here being picked off. 
And that is three free tanks that Kilo just gave away. Not characteristic of him. We don't usually see him play like this and give out free units. Now a lot of mutas out on the map for um, EG Machine. 26 mutas you can see. Now they they are approaching that number where they can actually one-shot turrets. You see there are a few left back here. And now abusing that third base from TLO. Killing a few workers still. Only six workers but again these mutas their real power is in map control. They cannot the Terran army cannot move out uh, because these mutas will just wreck havoc in the main base if he does. Now abusing the lack of mobility of PLO here, Marines not even coming back in the main, nowhere in sight. So EG Machine will just kill all these turrets and then have free ring in that main base. Decides to turn around here, he could have easily picked off this supply depot I feel like. One Thor will be able to repel these mutas for now at least but this amount of mutas he actually lost a lot quite a few mutas here oh I take that back here is the rest of the, the mutas so still about uh, still 32 mutas on the field he will be able to pick out this lonely barracks down here decides not to finish it off takes out the gas instead during that time, uh, Machine is actually going for the Hive Tech and two Spine Crawlers in the main to prevent any tech picking. Uh, Terrans usually like to do that. They take a small force, drop it in the main and pick off any tech build in the can. Spires are very vulnerable to this kind of drop. Now these Mutalists are still wrecking havoc in TLO's main. I guess he just said to himself that he won't really try and kill these mirrors because there's nothing much in his main. Most of this production is down here now. And he still has all the important buildings in the main. Lost a few supply depots, maybe an add-on or two, but nothing too serious here. Of course, this he cannot mine from his main base anymore, but there is only about 50 minerals left in it. So now TLO actually trying to get his army supply up now only 131 to 175 from EG Machine. I feel like Machine is in a really great position, but if uh, if TLO can actually move out and force these Mulas to come back and defend the base, he will. He should be able to maybe come back in this because there aren't really any other units from Machine except these uh, this large pack of Mulas. But of course, Machine the good player that he is will not allow that. You can see TLO actually moving across the map will try and attack Machine right away. Uh, he is very well prepared though with all these Lings and Bing Lings, all that creep behind uh, he will be able to kill this off. As soon as all those Marines are gone these Mutas can magic box the rest of the Thors and just kill everything and there he goes TLO GG's out of there and we will be going on to game 2 so look for that soon enough